How's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. All right, we're on the road again, and um, I haven't picked up Fred and Raphael yet. I just stopped at Wawa, and guess what I got? Guess what I got? I didn't video it because I'm in a hurry. It's starting to sprinkle. I had to get some air. Pumpkin spice, baby, with half and half. All that pumpkin spice, it's October. Folks, right there. Let me try it again. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. I'm telling you, that's good coffee. Wawa, pumpkin spice. You got to get it, man. So my little sleeve came off. Put it back down in there. Oh, I had a little scare uh, this morning. The uh, rear tires, I added air yesterday. I want to thank uh, Timmy Appleseed for the uh, air compressor he gave me, among a bunch of other things, some steak knives, some master locks, and a bunch of stuff that he um, had in his garage. I guess he just wanted to, you know, get rid of that he didn't need, but it's really been um, a savior to me. Now, the air compressor, it doesn't work on your cigarette lighter, so you got to have electricity for it. But if you got electricity or like a generator like I have, I just used my camper when it was plugged into shore power. But this pump is a real pump. This thing will pump it up. So I added the air to my tires, but I had a scare this morning. I said, I'll just leave the front tires like they are. You know, uh, I normally air up all four for towing. Well, maybe that was a, a godsend telling me I need to put air in the front tires too. The temperature isn't by any shakes cold here, but I got in the truck and it said the front driver tire, the little low tire pressure light was on. I'm like, oh boy, you know, I got a nail. I got to fix this before we leave. I can't, you know, how bad is it? Oh man, right away. But then after I was driving and I looked at all my four tire pressures, the front uh, passenger was also 29 pounds and that's what it said the one that was lit up i don't know why the other one wasn't lit up too at the same uh tire pressure but fortunately that meant they were both at the same so i just stopped at wawa i got the best cup of coffee I ever had in my life got some free air thank you wawa and <clears throat> now we're on the road it's starting to sprinkle it's going to be a lot worse it's going to just be nothing but a mess but we're heading to blue skies and sunshine and guess what when you get out of florida this is going to be i won't say fun but the low temperatures at night are in the 50s and 60s uh north of uh, jacksonville so i won't need the um, air conditioning or even the generator but i plan on finding an rv park for us so we have water and all that or even shower facilities on the um, at the resort, at the uh, campground. So wish us luck. Um, what was going to tell you guys? I, oh yeah, I'm going to be asking on the videos from now on, only if you like it, only, at the end of the video, give them a thumbs up. The thumbs up is putting these videos out in front of everybody in the world. <laughs> well, it is picking up on the algorithm and putting the videos out uh, to others that might find it interesting, entertaining, um, knowledgeable, uh, sharing about what the area is like and different things like that. So I greatly appreciate you folks in the community if you'd hit the thumbs up. I know many of you do already. And, uh, and don't forget about those other links. Hey, Amazon, I heard them on TV today, this morning, uh, saying about this big Amazon shopping and even Walmart, some big October shopping. They're trying to get us to buy Christmas stuff and shopping for the holidays earlier and earlier every year. And they were talking about all these great deals there's gonna be. The only negative was people gotta find a place to hide all this stuff. <laughs> but please consider using my Amazon link. I'm an Amazon affiliate. It'll support the channel. And um, I really appreciate it. If you don't mess, if you don't wanna mess with it, don't. But all you gotta do is find that Amazon link in the description box or in the front page of my YouTube channel It'll take you to, I think it's a phone case. 
And then from there, don't go out of it. Just go to the search bar, start searching for the things that you want and uh, add them to your cart. And then when you click to pay, you'll be back in your own Amazon, your own cart, your own shipping address. Everything will be fine. And then if you buy it, or even if you don't buy it right away, if you buy it in a few days, uh, it'll, it'll help me out. All YouTubers, pretty much, that are monetized are Amazon affiliates. This is something that we all ask our communities to do because it doesn't cost you one red cent. You're just doing something uh, to help support the channel. So thank you very much. That's the end of the commercial. <laughs> so um, it's really, uh, I'm showing uh, 36 in the front and 38 in the rear. It calls for, I think, 30 and 33 on the door jam. And the light is out. And thank God, uh, God is good. And I'm really happy that we're getting out today. And we're still undecided. I don't know about that, Jacksonville. I'm going to be heading into some very, it's almost like a hurricane, um, very bad weather. So I'm praying to God, please pray for us that we either decide to go west or continue going north. But we are leaving this state and we will be back. And you know what? We're way ahead. So we have to be gone a while. And um, please excuse me. Uh, from videos. Boy, she's towing nice. And I threw some water in there. I got some water in there. I might have, I don't know, a good 10 gallons anyway. And um, I'll be giving the uh, tutorial uh, to Fred and Raffaella on uh, how to operate certain things, uh, the toilet in there and the pump. All going to be new to her. I'm so glad they're going with me. It's going to be great to have company with me. And they're very good, de dear friends of mine. I know you guys love them too. And we might even be doing some cooking. Uh, I got the griddle uh, that goes on the outside. We've got the stove, the oven, the microwave. And like I said, I got a generator. And uh, But hopefully we'll be in an RV park. Um, I don't think Raffaella wants anything to do with the Love's truck stop. No. <laughs> so we'll find a place at a campground where they have, you know, the shower facilities and all that. And that way she will come back with a new experience and we'll be where there's safety of weather. And we'll be able to come back, praise, uh, praying for, uh, for God to make everything be okay for not only their property, my property, where I'm staying and all the folks in the West coast of Florida are really, really, really uh, got fingers crossed. I saw a guy at Wawa this morning. He must have had five uh, gas tanks he was filling up. So no doubt he has a generator at home and uh, he's, you know, taking cover. And this is the worst one that they're saying maybe in the history of Florida, it could potentially be the worst one to hit the West Coast. And so I'll just say this, folks. I'll just come out and say it. If I was in an apartment or even had a house like uh, Fred and Raffaella, there's a certain degree of comfort to know that you can take a home on wheels, a beautiful home on wheels, with a beautiful truck to tow it, very reliable, and you can just get the heck out of Dodge. And, you know, you don't have to pack up something and take your valuables and, you know, your paperwork and all that. You got the house with you. Everything that you own is there. Just put a few things down on the ground or in the sinks that you don't want to topple over and hook it up and leave. And leave ahead of time. Get your fuel and then when it's all over and um, you know, hopefully you got a place to come back to, uh, you at least have you know, your property and a roof over your head. I mean, I'm just thankful for that. So there's a certain degree when people say, ah, you know, get yourself a real place to live, you know, living in a camper or a mobile home. And those people can't take those mobile homes with them. They got to evacuate. Uh, all of Sarasota coastal area is an evacuation zone. And that includes those mobile home parks. We are inundated. We are covered up with mobile home parks here. It's very big. There's huge 
population. Most of them are only uh, inhabited for the uh, season here, but um, a lot of them do, you know, live year round. And so they have to leave. So pray for everybody, folks. Pray for us. I'm sure we're going to be okay with your prayers. And um, I'm, over, I'm almost over there. I'm going to load up all their stuff. You know, um, everybody's got everything secured as good as we can. We'll be in touch with you. We'll let you know where we're at, what's going on. Thank you for your, uh, for your views. Hit the thumbs up. Support the channel. God bless. Crush it.